Hi everyone, uh, today I'm just going to introduce you to what you're supposed to be looking at on Moodle for Lab 1. So the first thing to do is to log into Moodle. The next thing you do is click on your Mechatronics class, that's EECS 1011. You scroll down to the Lab Tools section, that's this section right here. And then you're going to want to click on the Women's Training Lab, or Pre-Lab. Click on Women's Level 1. Uh, let me see. So it's this section right here. You see that we are now in the Women's Level 1, and you go to Enter to begin. Now, there'll be some lots of pages in here. You'll start with this page right Welcome here. Welcome to Workplace Hazardous Material Information System, WMIS. And, uh, and you'll have to complete that until you get the certificate. So I'm going to close that now. I'm going to reverse back into the Moodle page. The next thing that you'll want to do is the pre-lab academic integrity test. So this again needs to be done before you go to the lab and you need to bring your certificate in to the lab in order to do the lab next week. So we click on this, we click on this link, and we start to how to use the site, technical requirements, click on what is academic integrity, forms of academic misconduct or academic integrity issues, etc, etc. So you have to click all the way through this. So you complete this. At the end, uh, we will have a test. And the test, I believe, is right here, ready to be tested. We go to Tests. Follow this link to log in first and then take the quiz. And you'll log in using your Passport account. I'm going to go back now to Moodle. The next thing that you'll want to do is to download the lab description for Lab 1. Click on that. Click on the downloaded file. It appears in here. I'm going to go to the very beginning. OK, so this is the very first page of the lab description. There's lots of text, you can read through it, etc., etc., etc. It's all introductory information. There's a little video about the Williams Small Center. You can click on the video link and it should play in here. That's great. That gives you an idea of what's in here. Okay? That's what you're, well, once it's all constructed, that's what the Williams Small Center looks like. Don't worry about installing MATLAB on your laptop. Um, don't worry about doing any of that. What you'll want to make sure is that you do have, say, a Dropbox account, that you don't have to download the virtual machine at this point. You'll be using lab equipment when you're in the lab, but you can follow these instructions later in order to create your virtual machine. Just fast forward all the way over to exercises, section three. Section three has a discussion of the pre-lab, that's section B or section A, then you have section B, which is the work that you do in the lab. Don't worry about any of the things that have to do with a student supplied laptop. I recommend you don't bring your own laptop into the lab at first. And then there's a section C, which is basically the advanced material uh, for customizing your e-portfolio, etc. Okay, that's what you need to know for this first lab. Concentrate on that. The last thing that you'll want to do is to check out your WordPress site. So we're going to click on this. And what's important to know about the WordPress site is that the address is eportfolio.eecs.yorku.ca. Then you're going to put a 
slash PPY, where slash is followed by your passport, York University ID. So in my case, it's called DR Smith. So we're gonna click on this link. We get to the general page. I go up here, I type in slash DR Smith, enter. And wouldn't you know it, it's now customized for me. And you will have your own customized ePortfolio site uh, based on your passport user ID. If you have any questions about this, please come by on Friday uh, in ACW 206 at 1030, and I'll be happy to have uh, time for questions during that office hour. Thank you very much.